from factories to steel mills, offices, hospitals, and warehouses. Work sites come in all shapes and sizes. But who makes sure they're all safe and healthful? If you said OSHA, guess again. It's up to employers to keep workplaces safe and healthful. OSHA's task is to develop job safety and health standards and enforce them effectively, thereby encouraging employers to reduce hazards through training and voluntary compliance. Workplace inspections are an important part of OSHA's enforcement activity. Under the Occupational Safety and Health Act, OSHA has authority to conduct workplace inspections. Specially trained compliance, safety, and health officers carry out these inspections. No one really likes unexpected guests, but for OSHA inspections, an unannounced visit is imperative. The compliance officer is more likely to see the workplace as it really is if inspections are performed without advance notice. There are many reasons for inspections, and different types of inspections are given different priorities. Highest priority is given to imminent danger situations. These are situations where a condition exists that could reasonably be expected to cause death or serious injury before ordinary enforcement action can be completed. Next highest priority is given to investigation of fatalities or to catastrophes resulting in the hospitalization of three or more employees. These situations must be reported to OSHA by the employer within eight hours of the accident. Third priority is given to investigation of valid employee complaints and referrals. Every employee has the right to request an OSHA inspection of his or her workplace. It's important to know that OSHA will maintain employee confidentiality and will notify the employee of inspection results. OSHA compliance officers perform programmed or planned inspections regularly in certain high hazard industries. Begins when the OSHA compliance officer arrives at the workplace. Upon presenting the proper credentials to the owner, operator, or employer representative, an OSHA compliance officer has authority to conduct an inspection of factories, plants, construction sites, or any other place where work is performed. Next, the employer is asked to select a representative to accompany the compliance officer during the inspection. Usually, the employer's representative is the plant manager or supervisor. After the opening conference, the compliance officer and the accompanying representatives begin the actual inspection or walk around. The route and duration of the inspection is determined by the compliance officer. As the inspection proceeds, the compliance officer may point out violations of OSHA standards and discuss ways to correct these violations. Some violations can be corrected immediately. Such action by the employer demonstrates good faith and is reflected in the penalty if a citation is issued. During the walk around, the compliance officer may take photos and record audio and videotape of different areas of the workplace, talk with the employees about operations, and take instrument readings. If necessary, the compliance officer may speak privately with employees about safety and health conditions in the workplace. Employees are protected under the law from any kind of discrimination against them as a result of reporting their concerns to a compliance officer. Do they provide you with any lift trucks? After the walk around, the compliance officer conducts a closing conference with the employer or the employer's representative. The compliance officer explains all apparent violations for which a citation may be issued and the employer's rights to appeal. The compliance officer does not discuss any proposed penalties, but will inform the employer that penalties may be issued by the area director. After the inspection, the compliance officer reports the findings to the area director, who will determine the appropriate citations and penalties. OSHA is a federal agency in the Department of Labor. Under the OSHA legislation passed in 1970, states are encouraged to develop and operate under OSHA's guidance 
their own state job safety and health plans. State worker protection programs must be at least as effective as federal OSHA's and must guarantee employers and employees the same rights as OSHA does. OSHA's consultation program provides a free confidential service mainly to small businesses that can't afford equivalent commercial services. OSHA provides funds to states to pay for professional safety and health consultants to make worksite hazard surveys that allow small employers to identify and eliminate or control hazards. Companies can also participate in OSHA's voluntary protection programs, VPP, which are based on the cooperative and effective use of comprehensive safety and health programs. Upon OSHA approval, VPP participants are removed from routine scheduled inspections, but are still subject to complaint and serious accident investigations and periodic VPP on-site visits. Keeping the American workplace free from dangers requires the full attention of every employer and employee in this country. And OSHA is there to help. Through outreach programs, OSHA area and regional offices answer questions and provide guest speakers, handout materials, training, and technical information. In addition, the OSHA Training Institute in Des Plaines, Illinois, offers classes in various subjects such as ergonomics, electrical hazards, ventilation, and other safety and health issues. Over the years, the inspection process has changed. Laptop computers and video cameras are replacing the notepad and the still camera. But despite technological changes, one thing remains constant, the dedication of OSHA's frontline professionals to saving lives, preventing serious injuries, and protecting the health of America's workers.